What's up? What's good? What's going on? Welcome to the war zone once again. All right, today um I want to talk a little bit about the uh fight that's in the works between WBO super featherweight champion uh 35 year old Jamel Herring who's 23 2 uh, with 11 KOs against the unbeaten 2016 Olympic silver medalist and the number one WBO contender and 24-year-old Shakur Stevenson, who is 16-0 with eight KOs. So let me start by saying that, uh, first of all, this isn't a fight. Many of you probably already know that this isn't a fight that uh, Jamel Herring wanted um, uh, as he hoped to make a unification bout with the uh, WBO 130-pound champ, Oscar Valdez. Um, we all know recently um, Valdez um, KO'd Miguel Burchelt for the title in February. Uh, great fight, man, by the way. Uh, anyway, um, Heron stated that he felt the fight with Oscar would be a bigger and more money. You know, it'd be a bigger fight with more money. You know, I totally agree with that. Um, obviously, the fight would probably, it, you know, that fight would probably take some time to make. Um, I know that Oscar did say he was going to take some time off with his family. Uh and then uh, go get back into training. Um, however, uh, no doubt, uh, Shakur, amazing talent, very technical, great defense. Um, the only thing with Shakur, um, he doesn't have much of a fan base yet. And, um, you know, he's getting a lot of criticism from people for um, being dull and boring. Um, I just realized this. People will continue to say what a fighter should have done or how they should have done it. Um, at the end of the day, man, to me, a win is still a win, no matter what. You know, um, I respect a fighter for utilizing his own game plan, you know, that will give them the best possible advantage um to win so um i don't understand it you know it's funny because I, I i was thinking about this and i said you know people would say that a game winning shot is better than uh blocking a game winning shot um does it really matter how you win you know a win is a win um, you know, and it's funny cause we've all seen guys, um, who've struggled to beat someone who we expected, um, them to knock out and, um, they barely win the fight. We've also seen guys who weren't expected to win, win in dramatic fashion. So, you know, like I'm saying, man, it, you know, it, you damned if you do or you damned if you don't, you know. But like I said, at the end of the day, a win is a win, man. You know, um, what I can see a problem is with seeing someone lose when you know they clearly won. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me get back to this. Um, you know, I mean, let me talk about Herring real quick because he's definitely coming off one of the biggest wins of his career by stopping um, former two-division world champ, Paul Frampton. Um, dropping him in the fifth and then ending the fight in the sixth. Um, tough fight, good fight. But uh, Herring was masterful in that fight, man. Um, he was using his jab, his height, and his reach advantage. Um, I, it was, I mean, it was just, it was, I, I mean, it's been a while since I've seen Herring fight at that level. And, um, you know, shout out to to Bo Mack and the, and the new camp he's in, man. It's just something he he's he's just 
he looks like a, he looked like a different fighter in that last fight. Um, um, Jamel also said that um, he wanted that lineal, lineal title and that unification with uh, with um, Oscar Valdez, um, but he says that if he had to go through Sh Shakur, so be it. You know, um, he said uh, Shakur is a sub, sub, superb boxer, um, but he's been through worse. Okay, so when I'm looking at this fight, man, um, I think it would definitely be great for Shakur by adding um, the likes of Jamel Herring to his um, resume and would uh, definitely put him in a perfect position to get a shot at a unification against Oscar Valdez if he should win, you know. Um, he has shown um, interest in Oscar in the past. Um, uh, once again, this fight uh, will definitely boost uh, the career and his popularity. Um, however, I don't see Bob Barron letting Stevenson and Valdez fight because Oscar is a bigger draw. I see Bob keeping Oscar away from um, Shakur until Shakur builds his, his name and, and his uh, worth. Um, um, and we all know Bob Arum. He don't care about nothing but money. Um, but I can potentially see um, Shakur finding his, himself in the same situation as um, Bud Crawford, man. If he, if he hangs around Bob too long, man, I, I can see his career just dragging and dragging and him not getting the fights that he really wants to get. Anyway, um, about the fight, I, um, I can clearly see um, Shakur winning this fight. Um, the Shakur way, uh, pop shots, body attack, great defense, um, getting a, a substantial lead and forcing Herring to come forward at some point, man, and, um, potentially getting, sh getting, um, getting caught with some big shots. You know, um, I don't see him out pointing Shakur, Shakur. Um, I do believe the fight will be competitive in moments, but I just can't see the older herring man, um, being able to keep up with the slicker, uh, younger Shakur, man. Um, I truly put my money on Shakur by unanimous decision in this fight. Um, but like I said, once again, man, um, both great fighters. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, I just can't see with Jamel's style how he could actually catch up and slow Shakur down. Um, he doesn't have tremendous power. I mean, but like I said, he uh, and he's an older fighter. I don't think he has the stamina. He doesn't have that um, work ethic like he used to, man. So, um yeah, I, I really have to give the edge to Shakur in this fight, man. Um, look forward to it. Um, but really, y'all, um, thanks for coming out, man. Um, I'm on my lunch break right now, man. I just figured I'd do this real quick. Um, but that's all I got for y'all, man. Thanks for um, tuning in once again. Um, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your support. And I'm out. Peace.